theoretical sense, you never start pad holding with a long combo. You always start out with a jab, double jab, jab cross, cross, knee, kick. But the way that you want to train it is that as if you have a mouthpiece on. What does that mean? You're not allowed to talk to your partner. You have to train it in level one by showing very clearly. For example, how do you hold for a push kick? How do you hold for an uppercut? How do you hold for a knee? You should know the difference and you should be able to be clear. If you kick a target and it wasn't held properly, that's your fault. If you recognize that it's held wrong, either don't kick it or adjust it and then strike. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Breathing is paramount. Um, so that's kind of like from novice to yellow. Yellow to level two, what's the difference? In pad holding. Defense. Not defense. Well, define defense. It covers, uh, catches. Correct. Better. Yeah, so technically they hit, they hit, they hit, they hit, they hit. Yellow, they hit, they hit, they hit, I hit them back. They get the hit, 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 I get the kick. I hit, I hit. There's not, they're not going to know any of the stuff we just did because that was in level two. But what happens a lot of times is they punch, 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 kick. You kick back and they're like, oh, I got kicked. And then it's, it's kind of the whole um, desensitize them. Because what you have to teach them in level one is you can't let them block and not hit last. So if he's holding for me, right? Hold for right hand. Go bam, and he hits. And then he walks away. He taught me that I can block and do nothing. He has to teach me that if he's going to hit me, he's got to hold for another hit. I got to hit last. That's good intent. Sure. I can't tell you how critical that's what they're supposed to learn. They don't learn, bam. No, if you're going to leg shield, hit after. So let's go back to what I said about the 4-3-2-1. The 4 3 to one. The four, three, two, one, you can just go through the series, right? What else can you do? I could do a boxing prefix and then go through the series. And then I could what? Boxing prefix, block, finish with boxing. Correct? Sure, sure. You guys understand what I just did? I created like this little sandwich. There was a template. And then in the template, I did something pre and then I did something post. So it's a template because I can design the before and after however I choose to do it. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay, so that's in level one. In level two, what's different? Uh, hit back. In a couple ways, what, what, what is a way that you can uh, hit back? We just defined, if I threw across, boom, and then I hit, I hit back, right? But if I hit him, what's another thing that he can do? Go counter you. Yeah, he's, he's going to do a move while I'm doing the move. Because sometimes I punch, and then I don't even try and punch. Sometimes you got to learn to just finish what you started because my punch may defeat his push kick. It might get there before the push kick. <clears throat> Sometimes he'll flinch just to stop me from throwing my attack. Everybody understand that? Yes. So let's do that. Hey. 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 Come on. He's shaking and not doing anything. I'm not going to keep it for him. Me. Me. Why not? 
Because sometimes I could go, boom! And <laughs> the catch, he'll still respond. Because what are we trying to do? We're not trying to train reactions, we're trying to train response. responses. Response. What's my response? I'm going to kick back. Right, that's what we're trying to train in them. Some sort of flow after that so that they're last to hit. That's level two. So everybody stand up.